I wanted to just echo Leanne's appreciation for the success of the stewardship campaign. Um, you know, we've been through a tough year together, haven't we, this last year? And um, just such appreciation for the confidence that we can be, as that final hymn say, we can be both changing and hold on to that which doesn't change, which is the love of God. And uh, so big thank you and congratulations in the midst of it all on the stewardship campaign. And um, we've got opportunities still to meet together as we go into Advent, which is a wonderful thing for us. We know that many people are joining us at home and we thank you. And uh, starting next week, you might want to have some candles together to light for the season of Advent, which we will start next Sunday. And so for those who are here present at uh, Quadra and Balmoral on a very blustery November day, the time has come for us to be deployed from this church, to leave this space, but not to stop worshiping, not to think that God is here any more than out there or up there over there, knowing that God is everywhere, but in here or at home in this time, we have been focused. We have sought to dis take away some of the distractions. We have allowed the warmth of memories of childhood bears touch us. We've heard the challenge of Christ bringing the least into the place of prominence. Advent starts, and the road is uncertain ahead of us. You know, it always was, but we just didn't realize it quite as much as we realize it. Certainly one of the great gifts of the COVID pandemic. The path is constantly changing, and it has been our entire lives. But we know some things are solid and sure beneath our feet, no matter what the path is, no matter where we travel. We know that God is love. We know, we have a knowing that Christ's light endures in us, between us, among us, before us, and after us. The light of Christ endures. And that the Holy Spirit is nearer to us than our breath, our next breath, or our last breath in ways we can never, ever articulate. We live in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives in us. This is the incarnation that gives our lives joy, purpose, and meaning. And so, the Spirit binds us together wherever we are. And until we are together here next Sunday, would you remember each other in prayer? Would you imagine the ones you see in their tents on the street remembering a teddy bear they too had as a child? And may our compassion and our hearts grow and our responses and our opportunities grow as a result. For we go as the ambassadors and as the retainers of God's eternal love. Amen.